So here's how I play that, just a short tutorial this afternoon. This can be played finger style or with a pick, except for that last chord, you're going to have to strum it, I guess. Um, I'm playing on a classical, this is a quarter bar C7, I'll place a link of this instrument at the bottom if you want to take a look at it. Uh, this exercise is based on a C major scale, one octave of that right here. And then if you want to go to the higher octave, one way is to do it this way, shift. The way I do it in this exercise is open E, F right here, G, A, B, C, it makes for a smoother transition, so, okay. So when I play that ascending scale all the way from E, G chord and then a C chord. So the descending pattern at the beginning of the exercise, I start on this G on the first string and I play basically an octave down and then the way I think about it, I go to the next adjacent string and I play the last finger in that scale which is a 3, a D, so another octave, then I go to the next adjacent string, the last finger, or the first finger, depending on how you want to think about it. Next adjacent string, first finger, I guess. And the next adjacent string, which is right here. And then the ascending thing. So slowly for the descending sequence, to go lower and finish that octave there. So again, I do this. Okay, and if you want to think the actual note, the first actual note in each descending uh, piece of the sequence, you have G, D, A, F and C. So those are the starting notes for each section of the sequence. G, D, A, F, C. All right, and then from here I just go up the scale. Open E, F, G, A, B, C. Right? I'm using a walking motion in the right hand. Um, I experimented with different heights, different uh, uh, heights of the string uh, as I changed strings on this instrument. It was a bit high before, then I went lower, then I went in between. I'm kind of in between now, and uh, I'm not crazy about it. I get a buzz still. I, I play with a very heavy apoyando or rest stroke usually in my right hand when I play melodic notes and I, 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 if, if I dig in too much I get this splat now if you play rest strokes there you're fine uh, but this kind of exercise or this kind of uh, melodic movement I usually play with a heavy rest stroke so I'm gonna have to go higher on the strings on my next String change. Now the good thing about the quarter bar classical is that they have a they have a truss rod, so there's a truss rod in there, 
Uh, so you don't really have to mess with the with the saddle here if you don't want to. Uh, you can just adjust a bit from the truss rod, um, and you don't even have to wait for a string change. So I do work with the saddle though, because um, I don't like to mess with the truss rod unless there's something wrong with the neck. So on my next string change, I'll have to go back a little bit higher. So anyways. Um, here's that whole exercise again. I've been playing it this afternoon and uh, I'm focusing on an even right hand walking motion here and obviously hand coordination here. And uh, yeah, that's what you have. Um, let me try a couple more times to see what happens. <laughs> dig more when I go up the scale and I can't because I, I would get a splat right there. Of course I can play gently and not get a splat, but I like a crescendo on that scale. And I can't really dig in on the way the strings are set up right now, so I'm holding back there. Here goes another try. that'll have to do for now. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you've tried this and if you encounter any problems that you may need help with. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Thank you so much for that. Give this video a like when you get a chance. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.